Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on how to fully utilize Flui Device, a product developed by Eden Tech. Flui Device is an all-in-one online platform that helps you sketch your microfluidic designs, validate them with computational models, and export them as 2D or 3D files for microfabrication. Thanks to its user-friendly interface, you can accomplish all this in just a few minutes. Follow this tutorial to make the best use of all its functionalities. Click the plus to start a new project. Give your project a name and optionally a description. After creation, all your projects will appear in the project list with their name, description, creation date and last save date. You can edit the project name and description by clicking the option button. You can also duplicate or delete a project this way. After clicking accept on a new project or when clicking on an existing project name, you will be taken to that project's page. Let's quickly go through the different elements on your screen. At the top, you'll find a comprehensive menu of all Flui device functionalities sorted by categories. For instance, the help section includes a link to this tutorial video for future reference. Below is a toolbar with shortcuts to help you design faster, which we will cover in detail later. On the right, you'll see a descriptor of the actions you perform while using the software. Below the toolbar is the tab bar. Each project can have multiple sketch tabs and one assembly tab. Each sketch hosts one microfluidic design. On the left, you'll see three display buttons, Sketch, 3D, and Calculate, allowing you to switch between different modes of Flui device. Below these buttons is the Editor menu, a multifunction interface we'll use extensively throughout this tutorial. You can hide or show this menu by clicking the arrow in the corner. Finally, in the center of the screen is the grid where your designs will appear. This grid is fully responsive and adapts to the size of your screen for better viewing. When starting a new project, a first sketch will automatically be created, labeled Sketch 1. You can edit this sketch name by either right-clicking on the name or selecting Insert Edit Current Sketch in the top menu. To quickly create a new sketch, click the plus button in the tab menu or select Insert create new sketch in the top menu. You can duplicate a sketch by right-clicking on its name and selecting duplicate. Delete a sketch by clicking the X button next to the sketch name or by right-clicking on the name and selecting delete. If the sketch is not empty, a prompt will appear to confirm whether you want to delete it. A deleted sketch cannot be recovered except by reloading your project to your last save. If there are no sketches present in your project, a new one will be created automatically. You have created your first project and first sketch. Now it's time to start drawing your first microfluidic design. Make sure you are in sketch mode. Browse through the database of geometries in the block list. If you need more specific information about a block, right click on it and select details. A window will appear on the right of the screen with a description and sometimes references to published articles. To close the help window, simply click on it. To start drawing, drag the selected block from the list and release it on the grid. Repeat this operation for each block you need from the block list. When clicking on a block, the left menu is replaced by the block parameter menu. Additionally, the block changes color and several handlers will appear on it. You can edit the block via two methods. The first method is fast but less accurate. Grab one of the handlers and drag it to resize the block. White handlers typically resize block lengths, red handlers resize widths, and green handlers resize more exotic functions. When resizing, the block's values will automatically update in the left menu. In Flui Device, each microfluidic design is composed of multiple blocks with at least one inlet and one outlet for fluid circulation. To help quickly create the design, blocks can snap together. By default, the selected block will adjust its cross-section, width and height to match the nearest target snapping block within a tolerance distance. Only blocks with corresponding rotation will snap together. You can adjust the automatic snapping mode and the snapping tolerance by selecting Settings Design Preferences in the top menu. You can select multiple blocks by holding the left mouse button on the grid and dragging a lasso around the desired blocks. 
Alternatively, you can click the target blocks while holding the control button. Once multiple blocks are selected, the left menu is replaced by the list parameter menu, displaying information such as the total length, width and volume of the selected blocks. You can move, rotate, mirror, copy paste and delete the selected block list similarly to how you would with a single block. Additionally, you can align selected blocks vertically and horizontally using the shortcut buttons or by selecting tools align. With three or more blocks selected, you can distribute them evenly using the shortcut buttons or by selecting tools distribute. If you want to snap a list of blocks to a non-selected block, make sure to drag the list while holding the block you want to snap with. Because Fluidevice uses pre-designed blocks, you may sometimes encounter issues closing your design, especially with more complex layouts. To help solve this challenge, certain blocks have a dynamic resizing function which edits multiple dimensions simultaneously. Simply hold the Ctrl key while dragging a handler. Upon release, the block will automatically resize to fit its neighbor, closing open paths. Once your design is complete and includes at least one inlet and one outlet, the calculate button will change color from red to green. If it doesn't, some blocks are not snapped together correctly. Click the calculate button while it is red to identify the problematic blocks, which will turn red. You can then correct the snapping or select the blocks to return them to black. Now that your design is complete, you can observe its hydrodynamic properties. Click the calculate button to open the calculator interface. When the calculator interface opens, the left menu is replaced with the simulation menu. Here, you can adjust the fluid properties as well as the input and output conditions. When hovering over these editors, the corresponding block will light up to help you visualize what you are editing. For each inlet, you can select the injection mode, pressure or flow, and adjust the values and units. Currently, you cannot adjust the outlet properties, but future versions will include back pressure functionalities. Once you have selected the desired values, click Run to launch the simulation. The calculation takes only a few seconds, and upon completion, indicated in the toolbar descriptor, four new buttons will appear above the grid. After running the simulation, if you edit any of the inputs in the left menu, remember to run the simulation again. An update button will replace the run button and will turn green if an update is required. To view your results, the left menu will display the updated values of inlets and outlets. Additionally, you can hover over different parts of your design to reveal local hydrodynamic information. For more detailed information, click the details button to reveal an exhaustive table of all values, including flow rate, pressure, Reynolds number, resistance and more. To hide the table, click the Details button a second time. To visualize the distribution of flow and pressure inside the system, click the Pressure and Flow Rate buttons. A gradient display of colors will overlay the design, complete with a legend. Since the accuracy of the calculation depends on the Reynolds number, you can quickly visualize the areas of your design where the Reynolds number is correct, green, or considered high for the area, orange, or red. High Reynolds numbers may indicate approximation errors, and Fluid Device cannot guarantee the same level of accuracy in these areas. If you wish to edit your device's design, simply click the Sketch button above the left menu, and the simulation interface will close. Once you are satisfied with the result, it is time to build multiple designs. In microfabrication processes, it is not uncommon to fabricate multiple designs onto a single substrate, whether it is to optimize space or to be able to observe multiple events simultaneously. In Fluid Device, once you have created multiple designs, you have the possibility to bring them all together. To do so, click on the Assembly tab. Upon opening the Assembly tab, the left menu is replaced by the Assembly Line menu. In it, you can choose which type of substrate you would like to use, whether predefined ones such as glass slides or four inch wafers or custom ones. A white layout of the substrate is visible on the grid to help you place your designs. Below the substrate layout submenu, you can find a list of designs corresponding to each of your sketches. To add a design to the assembly grid, simply drag the desired element and drop it on the grid. 
The created design's dimensions cannot be edited, but most operations of drag, rotations, mirror, copy-paste, align, and distribute are available. At any time during the design of your device, you can click the 3D button above the left menu. The grid will be replaced by a dynamic viewer displaying your current sketch in 3D. You can manipulate the camera around your design by dragging on the viewer while holding the left mouse button to rotate, the middle button to zoom, and the right button to move around. You can also zoom using the mouse wheel. If you lose focus on your design, simply click the reset camera button in the toolbar to recenter it. In the assembly tab 3D viewer, you can also see the currently selected substrate. You can toggle the substrate by clicking the toggle substrate button in the toolbar. You have now validated all your designs and wish to convert them into a product. Fluidivice can assist you here as well. For each sketch, you have the option to export it as a 2D or 3D file. Simply click on File Export in the top menu and select your export option. 2D file formats are SVG, which is optimal if you wish to edit your design outside Fluidivice. If you require a DXF file, there are multiple free online tools or free computer software available to convert it for you. 3D file formats are exclusively STL and are compatible with most printer software. In the Assembly tab Export menu, you can also choose whether to export the substrate with your design. While STL files are not fully compatible with all CAD software, we hope Fluidivice provides all the features you need to complete your device. Thank you for following this tutorial video on Fluidivice a product developed by Eden Tech. To stay up to date, follow us on LinkedIn or X by clicking on the links below. You can also discover all of Eden Tech's products and projects by visiting eden-microfluidics.com.